Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we will look at 20 of the most difficult words for English learners to pronounce. And I'll also teach you how to say them correctly. For each word, listen to how I say it, then practice saying it after me. So if you're ready, let's jump into it. The first word is this one. How do you say it? Well, the correct pronunciation is question. The first syllable is made with a k combined with a w sound by rounding your lips. Quest. The second syllable is chin, like your chin. So this word is question. Of course, the opposite of question is answer. An, sir, answer. This is in American English. In British English, it's pronounced answer with an ah sound at the beginning. Answer. Number two is didn't. I often hear two mispronunciations of this word from my students. If you say didn't or didn't, they're both wrong. To say this word correctly, say did first. Did. Then add a n sound at the end. Didn't. Using your nose, didn't. And that's it. Now you can say didn't with a t at the end, but when we speak in full sentences, we often leave out that t sound. For example, didn't like. I didn't like the movie. Notice that the t has become silent. Didn't speak. She didn't speak English. The next word is asked. This is the past tense of ask. The trick to saying it correctly is to make the K silent. So it sounds like asked in American English and asked in British English, but in both we don't pronounce the K. He asked me a question. I asked her for money. Number four is these two words. How do you say them? The first is woman. Wu, man, woman. And the second is we, men, women. Woman, women. One woman, three women. Next up is the second month of the year. The reason this word is tricky to pronounce is that people say it in a few different ways. In British English, it's commonly pronounced February. I know it sounds difficult, but it's not. To say it correctly, you have to say ru, a, ri. Ru, a, ri, ru, ri. February. February. The American version is much easier. The first R is silent, so February. Feb, ya, where, re, February. A quick note in the pronunciation symbols on the screen, you see the letter J, but in the International Pronunciation Alphabet or IPA, which I'm using here, the J represents a Y sound. Okay, it's up to you to decide whether you want to use British or American pronunciation. But again, American is February and British February. Number six is this word. How do you say it? The correct pronunciation is psychiatrist. It starts with psi, the P is silent, the part in the middle is kaya, kaya, and the word ends with trist. The stress is on the second syllable, so this word is psychiatrist, psychiatrist. Next, we have another scientific word, laboratory. 
That's the American pronunciation. Lab, r, to, re, with the stress on the first syllable, laboratory. The British version sounds quite different. Laboratory. Here, the second syllable is stressed, ba. So the word begins with a short la. Then we have ba, r, tri. So laboratory. Once again, American laboratory. British laboratory. Number eight is the set of these four words. These are difficult for many English learners because each one is slightly different. The first is easy. There are three syllables, fo, to, graph. The stress is on the first syllable, fo, so photograph. The next two words are photographer and photography. In these words, the stress is on the second syllable. It becomes a long ta, and the other vowels become short. So, photographer, photographer. And similarly, photography. The last word is photographic. So, where is the stress? The stress is on the third syllable, gra. Photographic. One last time. Photograph. Photographer. Photography. Photographic. Number nine is another set of related words. Analyze, analysis, and analytical. As we saw in photograph, photographer, etc., these words also have different stress patterns. Analyze has three syllables, a, n, lies, with the stress on the first syllable, analyze. This is a verb and it means to study something in order to understand it. The noun, the name given to the act of analyzing something, is analysis. Here we see four syllables, a, na, la, sis, and the stress is on the second syllable, na. Analysis. Analysis. The word analytical has five syllables, a, na, le, te, col, and the stress is on the third, li. Analytical. Analytical. This is an adjective. We might say that a person has an analytical mind, meaning that he or she likes to examine or study things in detail. Okay, once again, analyze. Analysis. Analytical. Number 10 is entrepreneur. This word refers to a person who starts his or her own business. The spelling looks scary, lots of E's and R's, but the pronunciation is actually quite easy. There are four syllables. The first is on. The second and third syllables are similar, tr and pr. The last syllable is ner. The stress is on this last syllable. So on, tr, pr, ner. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Next, we have another business word, executive. It refers to someone who has an important job in a company. There are four syllables in this word. Ig, zek, ya, tiv. Remember that the letter J represents a ya sound in phonetic symbols. The stress is on the second syllable here, Zek. So, executive. Executive. Number 12 is a word that's again pronounced differently in American and British English. How do you say this word? In American English, this is pronounced schedule. 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 The sound that you see in the middle, the letter D, 
with what looks like the number three, that's just the J sound. The British pronunciation is schedule, shed, yule, schedule. That first snake-like character is the sh sound. All right, so American schedule, British schedule. Number 13 is the word adjective. The sound that gives trouble to a lot of English learners is the combination of the letters D and J. Many people struggle to say adjective. But the good news is that the letter D is actually silent here. The word is just a -jek -tiv, adjective. By the way, how do you say this part of speech? It's preposition. Pre -pa -z -shun. Notice that the S is pronounced as a Z sound. The stress is on the third syllable, Z, preposition. The next word is miscellaneous. This is an adjective which refers to a mixed group of different kinds of things. In the picture, you see a shop selling miscellaneous things. I can talk about the miscellaneous items on my table. There is a pencil, a pair of scissors, a comb, an eraser, a fidget spinner. Now the spelling of this word looks confusing, but the pronunciation just has five syllables. Mi, sa, le, ni, us. The stress is on the third syllable, le. The key to saying a big word like this correctly is to learn it in reverse, that is, from the end. So repeat after me. Us. Nias. Lay. Lanius. Missa. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Did you get it right? All right, next is one more five syllable word sophisticated. This is also an adjective, and it means complicated, developed, or advanced. The five syllables are s, fis, t, k, tud, and the stress is on the second, fis. Let's backchain this word, learn it in reverse. Tud, kated, fisty, fisticated. Sophisticated. Sophisticated. See, it's easy. Number 16 is this word. It means an unfair hatred towards a group of people because of their race, gender, religion, etc. The problem with this word is that it doesn't sound exactly as it is spelled. How would you say it? The correct pronunciation is prejudice. There are three syllables. The first is pre, the second is j, and the last syllable is dis. Prejudice. Prejudice. Up next, we have two military terms that are often problematic for learners. The first word is a title that refers to a mid-ranking officer. It has two pronunciations. In American English, it's pronounced lieutenant. Lu-te-nunt. The stress is on te. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. In British English, the word sounds a little different. Lieutenant. So the first syllable, which is spelled L-I-E-U, is pronounced left. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. Lieutenant. So in American English, it's lieutenant, and in British English, lieutenant. The second military word is this one. It's a title given to a high-ranking officer. So let me ask you once again, how would you say this word? The right way to say it is colonel. For some strange reason, the C-O-L-O -O 
is pronounced ker. So this word is kernel. Number 19 is words with a double C. That double C acts like KS. So we say access, accent. In both of these words, the stress is on the first syllable. In the next two words, the stress is on the second syllable. Success. Once again, success. Similarly, succinct. Notice in the spelling of this word that there is an extra C right at the end before T. So the second syllable here is synced with a K sound. Succinct. By the way, succinct is an adjective and it means that something is said in a clear way in just a few words. For example, his speech was succinct. And if you've watched the whole video up to now, then this last word is for you. Congratulations. The tricky part is the letters TU in the middle. They are pronounced CH. The word has a total of five syllables. Kun, gra, ch, le, shuns. The stress is on le. So, congratulations. Congratulations. Alright, before we close this lesson, let's do a quick recap of the 20 words we have discussed. Question. Didn't. Asked. That's American. The British version is asked. Woman. Women. February. That's American. In British pronunciation, February. Psychiatrist. Laboratory. That's American. British is laboratory. Photograph. Photographer. Photography. Photographic. Analyze. Analysis. Analytical. Entrepreneur, Executive, Schedule, that's the American pronunciation, British, British is Schedule, Adjective, Miscellaneous, Sophisticated, Prejudice, Lieutenant. That's American. The British pronunciation is Lieutenant. Colonel. Access. Accent. Success. Succinct. Congratulations. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. As always, happy learning and I will see you in another lesson soon.